Hey guys, it's Sam, and in this video, I want to show you guys iOS 7.0.2, which Apple did just release to the public hours ago. So to start off, this update does three things. It fixes a couple of lock screen bugs, and then it also adds a great keyboard to the lock screen. So first, I want to describe the first two in detail. So basically, in iOS 7.0.1 and 7.0, there was a very, very bad bug that would allow people to get into your private photos, apps, and it was just a kind of a multitasking clock app bug. However, now that is fixed, and I can't really demonstrate it for you because I never really got the hack to work on my device. But anyway, all rest assured, no one will be able to get to your profile, any of your private information with iOS 7.0.2. The next bug that they did fix was one relating to the emergency call section on your lock screen. So as you know in iOS, you've got that little panel that says emergency call in either the bottom or left or bottom right. This only applies to you if you have an iPhone, but anyway, there was a bug with it where when you would click on the button, you would be able to call any number, not just the emergency number for your area. Now the last thing that they do add in this update is the reintroduction of the Greek keyboard on the lock screen. Now this probably won't affect you in any way, shape, or form whatsoever unless you live around Greece or Italy or some place over there like that. But in case some of you who are watching this do, I just want to let you guys know about that. So now that we have covered all the new features and bug fixes found in iOS 7.0.2, let's talk about if you should update or not. So if you are on iOS 6 or if you have an iPod Touch 4th generation and iPad 1 or just a device that doesn't support iOS 7, this video doesn't apply to, to, to you at all because of course unfortunately you can't get it on those devices. Now comes the issue of an iOS 7 jailbreak possibilities in the future and should I update to this if I'm already on iOS 7. So my answer for you is yes, we got the green light from Pod2G on Twitter. He said that this will still be jailbreakable in some point in the future. He didn't say when we would get an iOS 7 jailbreak or anything like that, but he did actually give us a rough estimate of 3-4 to four months. I'll talk about all that iOS 7 jailbreak stuff in a later video. However, if you don't care about jailbreaking, you just love iOS for iOS itself. Go for it, update, even if you are a jailbreak person like myself. I updated, we don't have to worry about anything like that. This fixes a ton of security issues and it will just make your device all around safer. So I hope you guys did learn something from this video, I hope you did enjoy it. Thanks a lot for taking the time to watch this guys and I will catch you guys in the next one.